Today we go back in time to look at some of the most unbelievable, wild and worst stories of punishments used throughout history. Starting with a mysterious Russian legend and ending with the worst torture tale of all time. Number 1. Rasputin We start in pre-revolutionary Russia, 1916. The death of Grigory Rasputin is shrouded in lies, mystery and magic. He was known as the Mad Monk, a megalomaniac mystic with seemingly magical healing powers and rose from a peasant with a promiscuous reputation to become one of the most powerful men in Russia. He rose to power by using his mystical powers to heal the Tsar's son, gaining vice-like control over the Tsarina, whilst becoming hated by the Russian elite. It was agreed that to save Russia and free the Romanovs from his spell, Rasputin had to die. On the 30th of December 1916, he was tricked to the home of Prince Felix Yusupov, where he was fed poisoned cakes, eating enough cyanide to kill five men. Somehow, he shrugged this off and carried on munching away on the poisoned treats. Shocked and scared by the unbelievable will to survive, Yusupov took out a revolver and shot Rasputin. Yet again he lived on, opening his eyes whilst the assassin celebrated and fleeing the house. Here he was shot a second time. Still showing signs of holding onto life against all odds, he was beaten by the attackers and thrown in the river, where it is believed he finally succumbed to death by drowning. Number 2. Richard Roos Tudor England is known for being particularly harsh and unforgiving when it comes to punishment, but one in particular was as gruesome as it gets. A chef by the name of Richard Roos was accused of poisoning dinner guests, an act seen by the law as treasonous, and as such he was tortured and condemned to die. Henry VIII decided to get creative with this punishment and used an old method that has come in many forms throughout history. Boiling In ancient Greece they used a hollow bronze ball, where victims would be locked inside as a fire slowly heated the ball brutally roasting the victim until they died, and their amplified ball-sounding screams faded. In Rome, Nero condemned thousands of Christians to death by cooking them in boiling, bubbling baths of oil. Richard experienced a similar fate. In London, 1532, he was dragged before a crowd and dunked three times into a pool of boiling water, his skin burning, blistering and popping until he, ironically giving his job, was cooked to death after two hours of this torture. Number 3. Liu Jin Everyone knows that annoying pain when you slice your finger with a paper cut, but imagine a thousand paper cuts all over your body. In Imperial China, a method of execution known as Ling Chi, or death by a thousand cuts, used this bloody and prolonged method of execution for criminals who committed murder or treason. One famous victim of this execution was Liu Jin. He was a eunuch for the emperor in 1506. I guess it's poetic how his life started and ended with a cut. His emperor was young and eccentric, so Liu Jin took control of the Chinese government, quickly spreading corruption and making life miserable for the Chinese population. When his house was searched, revealing piles and piles of stolen gold, his corruption was finally exposed and he was condemned to the knife. Over three days, thousands of small, excruciating cuts were made all over his body. 3,357 precise cuts were made in total, prolonging his suffering for as long as possible, and it is believed that locals who suffered under his rule would buy morsels of his flesh as a way of revenge against their oppressor. Number 4. Tom Ketchum Next we have a story about a very common execution method, with an unusual twist. Tom Ketchum, known as Blackjack, was an American cowboy who, bored with this lifestyle, turned to a life of crime. In the 19th century, he and his gang terrorised Texas, robbing trains and committing murders. In 1899, he was attempting another train robbery when he was recognised by the conductor and shot in the arm at close range with a shotgun. Injured and alone, he was captured and sentenced to die. No one who turned up to watch the hanging would have predicted the horror they would witness. When the hangman dropped Ketchum, his weight combined with a noose that was too long caused his head to be sliced clean off of his shoulders by the rope. His body fell to the ground, blood spraying from it whilst his head stayed hanging. Number 5. Scafism Everybody is familiar with the effects of overdrinking. Usually it results in an undignified end to a night out. For one Persian soldier, it led to one of the worst, most painful, skin-crawling deaths in human history. Otherwise known as the boats, scaphism saw the victim force-fed honey and milk, then trapped between two boats. The diet would cause horrific stomach problems, which was trapped with the criminal. The milk and honey would eventually attract maggots and other insects, which would begin to slowly feed on the victim's flesh, devouring them from the inside out. Mithridates is said to have endured this savage torture for an unbelievable 17 days before finally dying of either dehydration or the wounds, bites and stings all over his body. Number 6. Balthazar Gerard Now we come to the most brutal punishment of them all. That's William the Silent of Orange, leader of the Dutch Revolution and the Eighty Years' War against the Catholic rule of Philip II of Spain and the Habsburg Empire. Known as the father of the nation, he is the ancestor of the Dutch monarchy and the first known victim of political assassination with a gun. That's Balthazar Girard, his assassin and a man now destined to get hit by what seems like every punishment known to man. 
Balthazar shot William on the 10th of July 1584. Despite an ingenious escape plan involving leaping into a moat wearing an inflatable pig's bladder as a grim sort of makeshift rubber ring and then riding off into the sunset, he tripped and was arrested. First, he was tied to a pole and repeatedly lashed with a whip. Now for all you freaky people out there, this might not sound too bad, but it gets a lot worse. Eventually, he was taken down and his wounds were covered with honey. The plan was to bring in a goat, which would slowly and painfully lick the honey away with its rough tongue. Fortunately for Balthazar, the goat wanted absolutely nothing to do with that, but this didn't deter his captors. When night came, his hands and feet were all tied together to make sure he would be as uncomfortable as possible. After three long, gruelling days of this routine, his torturers got even more inventive. 150 kilogram weights were attached to both of his big toes for half an hour, then they crammed his feet into tiny shoes, which they heated until they shrunk, and completely crushed his feet entirely. By this point, they were beginning to run out of fresh ideas, so Balthazar was branded under the armpits, covered with burning bacon fat, and de-nailed with sharp nails nailed under his nails. I really hope you're able to follow all of that, because now it was time for the actual punishment to start. His right hand was burnt off entirely with an iron, while six different areas of his body had the flesh ripped away with hot pincers. Finally, Balthazar was quartered, disemboweled, and slapped round the face with his own heart. The brutal ordeal ended with him beheaded and the severed head being displayed publicly on a pike. 